an ice cream party with sauced up sundaes. So first step to this, you just use canned sweetened condensed milk. Okay. So that goes into a saucepan. Gosh, then you add in no, a bag of semi-sweet chocolate semi. chip. I'm gonna add instant espresso powder, and this is what's gonna need make it espresso every Sunday, right? Yeah. And then to make this nice and glossy and give it even more flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of unsalted butter. Whoa. Just a little bit. So you wanna let this completely melt down. And once it's melted, you add to it some vanilla extract. Mm, that is so good. And there you go. Let's not be shy here. So we're just gonna start with some fresh strawberries. So easy. Put it on a little in a little pan here, a little heat. Into this, we're gonna make a little slurry to help thicken it up. So that's just water and okay. cornstarch. So we're gonna add this um, in a minute. Gonna add some sugar. Okay. Bring right. in the sugar. We can add like maybe half of our slurry, a little salt in there. So we're gonna simmer this, and what you are left with is this beautiful, real whole berry, shiny mm. strawberry sauce. Add a little fresh lemon juice. I'm using lemon zest. Which you zest first? You ready, Jeff? Again, the Come hot, on. cold thing is the thing that's great here. Mm. Just, oh, crushed peanuts mm. on top, really tie the room together. Now, just like Katie Lee, I'm gonna start with a base of sweetened condensed milk. And then my sauce is a peanut butter sauce, so I'm just adding straight, smooth peanut butter. And I'm just gonna make sure to whisk it in here so it's nice and soft. And just do it over medium, medium, low heat. And it's gonna come out kind of thick. And then we're just gonna add, wanna add a little bit of water while I whisk? Water. Just a just tiny water. bit. Just water. And then we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. Well, it's the sweetened condensed milk that just adds I mean, an extra everyone, layer, right? layer of oh, oh, Two nine-inch round cake, chocolate cakes, slightly stale mini marshmallows. Uh -huh. Let's make them look like they're burning. Yes. Crushed red candy, an eight and a half inch round grape. Then mm -hmm. a burger using cocoa-flavored puff cereal. Next, you take the yellow, whatever flavor this might be, pineapple fruit leather, yes. and you cut it into a square. You've got these uh, kind of fruit candies, if you will, that are yes. sugar-coated, and then just naturally poke it through. I'm not done yet! So I'm gonna show you how to make corn on the cob on the grill. Uh, Frosting-filled sponge cake, and then I've got some vanilla icing. No yeah, I see what you're doing. All right, they come in colors, and just start putting them on there. Put the cute little corn on the cob ends okay. in it. One part caramel, one part saltwater taffy, <gasps> grill mark! Dogs are on the grill. Let's fire up the oh grill completely. I'm making a chocolate covered strawberry tart with a surprise in the center. I've got a few cups of cream and a little bit of milk in here that I'm just heating up. I'm gonna add to it freeze dried strawberries. Just kind of let them steep. It takes about five minutes. Take it off the heat. Little white chocolate chips. So I just put in a whole bag, some vanilla extract, and then just stir this up, let it start to melt. So now it goes into the blender, and then just turn it up. All right, I just made this out of chocolate wafers, sugar, and butter, ground it up, put it into a tart pan, and baked it for about 10 minutes. So now you just pour this filling in. How easy is this? So easy, and since there aren't any eggs Ugh. in this custard filling, you don't need to bake it. So this just goes into the fridge. After it cools completely, you put it into the freezer for just 30 minutes. And then you're gonna use a whole bottle of chocolate shell sauce. So you just wanna let that set up. It's really starting to harden. I made some chocolate covered strawberries and then I melted some white chocolate. So you just pipe this on, put them all Rotate the way around. around. like that. Now we're gonna take these fancy strawberries. Okay, and wow. And just put them around the center. Dip my knife in warm water. And oh, there it goes. Mm. Look at that hard top. Mm, that looks Here we good. go. It's such a creamy strawberry. And the texture from that chocolatey crust. This is yeah, awesome. Like Lasagna made out of ice cream. We have a pound cake. So we're just going to cut these into slices and place them. It's oh. like that. Oh. Look where this is going. Oh. 
vanilla ice cream. I like oh. to just put a few scoops down, oh. spread this out. See, it's oh. nice and soft. We're gonna add a little bit of that sauce, pour it over oh. the ice cream. So just half of it, because we need it for another layer. There's chocolate rice puffs, and you're gonna make a generous nice. layer. Oh. And these guys, you are gonna use all of them up in this layer, because then after this, you're gonna just repeat the layer, and you're gonna do pound cake, ice cream, and sauce. Four to five hours in the freezer. Yeah. It's gotta set up. We got a block of white chocolate here, a cheese grater, and watch this. Just like you that. would the Parmigiano Reggiano. Hot water, just like you would a cake. We are going to cut into this baby. Look at that beautiful corner. Let it go here. That's a real, that was a There's big There's two robot. pops, right? You get the pop from the strawberry seed and the pop from the chocolate crisp corn cereal. It's a real bite right there. You get that nice, like, pound cake, and it has sucked up all of that strawberry flavor. It looks like a lasagna, but it tastes like heaven. No. And brownie, boom! Oh, I'm so excited. So let's start with a bowl here. This is a great little kind of quick way to get that shape using the fudgy brownie recipe. You want to get, what, it's like a quarter of an inch thick. Take a, a round center about the, the size of the bottom, put that in there. Now we're going to take about four inch rectangular slices and put them in there, right? Slice it about 45 degrees through that till you get triangulation shape and you put them right in between where the squares were. So you just press it down. The edges are kind of flush with the edges of the bowl. Some softened chocolate ice cream. And I'm just gonna put it in here and we're gonna sort of mold this, smoosh it around. See this? I'll oh. see you. I'll see you. This is awesome. Jeff. Okay, in amazing. the freezer, three hours, and would you take out the other one, yes, please, I sir? Work. We're gonna unwrap it. It just comes right out. Wow. Look at that, like that. You ready for this? I have some hot fudge here. It's not piping hot, this, Ooh. and I like a lot of fudge. All right, so you spread this all around. I've got chocolate whipped cream. So this is just heavy cream, cocoa powder, and sugar. Plop that right in there. Oh, my God. Does this look good or what? Brownie bits. Ooh. Some walnuts, toss that together. So just right over the top. Oh, oh dear. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Give it a nice press, OK? All right, so right over the top, right into the freezer. It's pretty heavy. OK, so. Oh, oh, oh you did it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. It looks like a giant truffle, doesn't it? Does. You ready for this? Oh, yes. Look at those layers. Ah, uh, there we go. Catch that fudge. That brownie is so fudgy. A brownie with ice cream is just heaven to begin with. Then hot fudge and chocolate whipped cream. This is spectacular.